Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for conventions? Like local conventions. Definitely. Since it's always great to support local things. It's always awesome. And where did we go today? We went to RubleCon. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, this is our third year, I I've, think, checking yeah. out RubleCon. So uh, we have previous RubleCon videos, yes. but uh, we are not stopping going nope. anytime soon. RubleCon is a yearly comic book, games, toys, and all-around fun convention in Springfield, Missouri. Founded by Daniel Rubel of Rubelmizers Comics. So the setup of RubleCon was done very nicely. They had mm -hmm. a, a good amount of space in the aisles, yep. so you never really felt too crowded going down the aisles. No. Uh, the booths got a little crowded, but I don't think that's a problem because, no. let's face it, all these people were there to look at all the cool stuff, buy some cool stuff, so they were just excited. Yeah, it, it basically wasn't the con's fault or the booth owner's fault or renters or whatever you want to call them because it was just it was just a packed show. Right. So there were a lot of booths that you, know, you kind of had to wait in line to get into but it was worth it because a lot of the booths had some yeah, cool hey, stuff in it a packed show that is definitely a problem that you yes, want to have and as she mentioned before they have all kinds of things there are comics and yes, lots, of, lots comics. of comics and we saw lots of great deals uh you know like one two three dollar issues uh you had trades as low as five dollars sometimes lower mm -hmm. and of course for the lovely lady Lacey, there were toys galore toys. and there were old toys and new toys yes. tabletop toys and lots of hot wheels which is oh, one of yeah. my favorites from my childhood which is fun to go through because it's like oh i had that i had that but then i have to remind myself i never got rid of my hot wheels so it's not i had that i still have that <laughs> <laughs> you know i was actually kind of the same way with the things like the G.I. Joe yeah. Masters of the Universe toys because it was like, ooh, I had that, I had that. Of course, some of those uh, G.I. Joe vehicles, it was like, I had that. I mean, all those missiles and other <laughs> pieces were missing, but I had that. Now, it would not have been a convention proper without a snack bar. Yep, and this snack bar had catered in, I suppose. I guess you could call it Domino's Pizza. So the whole time walking around the floor, <laughs> all I was smelling was pizza, and it was killing me. So thanks to his prodding, I had to go over and get me a slice of pizza. It was very good. It hit the spot. <laughs> Now, there was more to do there than just look and buy stuff mm -hmm. because, uh, of course, there were lots of great cosplayers, which is always one of our favorite things yes. to see at conventions. And something that was cracking us up, uh, <laughs> there were some professional thumb wrestlers. Yeah, that was and, interesting. Oh, I'd never man. seen that before. They had such a fun time with it. And they were dressed up kind of, you know, like what you would think of like wrestlers. One of yes. them was, you know, wearing a Lucha Libre's mask. You know, they had just costumes on and they Larger were Larger than life it. characters oh, yeah. and personalities. Uh, one time we actually we were on the other side of the room at this point but we actually saw that thumb war go off the stage yeah. into the crowd so watch out yeah <laughs> you know something that actually really shocked me was we got recognized we did a couple of times it started it's kind of odd you know it's kind of weird when people come up to us and they're like I follow you I watch your shows it's so great to meet you in person and it's like I, I don't know how to act. <laughs> I mean, we absolutely love hearing yes, that we because do. we appreciate yes. all of the support that we get for everyone that watches our videos, follows us on Instagram and Facebook and everything else. So that is awesome. But the fact that they come up and they let us know that, that they check us out, yes. it's like, oh, well, thank you. So seriously, guys, though, even though it's, it's awkward, we still want you to come up to <laughs> us and tell us, you know, that you watch our show and you like the show or you don't like the show. Hopefully you like the show. But, you know, just come up to us and say hi. You know, I think the only one that got recognized more than us 
is the famous DK barrel. <laughs> so there were some people that recognized that from other conventions. I honestly do not think they recognized us, but they, but they did the recognize barrel. the barrel, which so, is fine because hey, it's it's a great barrel. Exactly, and it's one of those things because they recognize the barrel, they just kind of. Oh yeah, it's you guys with the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, if you guys don't know, the barrel is on wheels and it is amazing to take yes. to conventions. You can fill that up with all the stuff that you buy or all the stuff that you bring with mm -hmm. you. It rolls around. It's very low profile because it's more of a vertical thing. Yes. And it makes everything so yeah, much saves nicer. Back. And people love it. Yep. Of course, if we're lugging that barrel around and we we're had at to a put convention. Stuff in it. Yeah, we did. And I believe one of the things we mentioned was toys, so why don't you kick it off with something? I will kick it off with something. I got the chick oh, from Gargoyles. Yeah. Anybody remember that Gargoyle show? Oh, She was man. one of my favorites, not just because she had red hair, but because there weren't very many chicks on the show. But look, her little wingies flat. And we have a couple of Gargoyle toys already, but we never mm -hmm. had her, so this is a great addition to the collection. Oh, that's how you make her wings flap. You squeeze her feet. You heard it here, guys. You want to make her wings flap, just squeeze her feet. <laughs> Another fun toy that I got. Let me get his noose off of his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Nightcrawler. Anyway, is a very fun, bendy Nightcrawler. I, they, I don't think they do many of these kinds of toys these days. But I remember I when I was so. a kid, we had a lot of these like really fun, bendy toys. So it's weird that his face is a different color than... Of course, I guess you could say that that's his suit. Maybe that's why his face. I is would hope so. A different, I hope that's true. He's I got, hope his not, suit isn't just the red part. <laughs> ew, ew, here. I, I don't want to touch him anymore. <laughs> Xavier calls him in. Nightcrawler, we have to have a talk about your suit. <laughs> or either that, or somebody was like, "Oh, your suit's the red thing." I thought you had a blue suit on. I didn't know that was just your skin. <laughs> ah, something went wrong with teleporting. <laughs> Help me! Help me, gargoyle lady. <laughs> Another toy that caught my eye was this giant uh, Venom guy, big. and I just thought it was really cool because I thought at first, you know, oh, he's just got a big mouth going on, and part of part of the symbiote was coming off, until I looked closer at the mouth, and you can actually see that Eddie Brock's face is in there, so it's like really coming off. So I thought that was really neat detail that's going on there and I mean he's a big substantial guy. That is a very fun figure. Yeah he's got you know the big hand I that's one thing I've always kind of liked about Venom is that you know he does he's a symbiote so I mean he can you know change shape and stuff. Does Venom have green drool? Or it looks like it. Is that uh, green or he drool or blood bad. or something that's weird. The last loose figure that I got was Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2? Yes. And I really like this one because it has a lot of really cool articulation in it. And it, I mean, it really does look like um, the actor. But his hands, you can make them move his little fingers to grab things. The typical articulation from all the, you know, the toes and the knees and everything. But on his robotic arms... Um, it looks like one of the little grabbers is missing, but you can move them in and out, and then the very ends of them move. So, and then the top ones actually are have a wire in them for bendy purposes, and then the bottom ones are just kind of loose on there. So, I thought he was really, really neat. Okay guys, so we actually had a very good successful trip this time to this convention because not only did I find things, Mr. Tom here found some Finally. things and he found some good stuff. So I just want to note real quick that most of the conventions in our area generally do not have video games. Which is silly. If you find video games, it's like someone has them in their booth tucked away in the back and they're like, oh, you're interested in them? Uh, yeah, shoot me an offer. But this guy actually had yeah. a table set up. And we got some uh, some nice NES games here, like the Tiny Toons Cartoon Workshop. Oh, nice. So what do you, like, color? I am not sure. I know? just, it was something that I really don't feel like I see that often. So I was like, I, I think I'll go for this one. 
And all of these NES games were only five bucks each. Yeah. But in the end, he cut us a great deal. He really did. And then we got Fun House. Now, I remember this TV show. I don't think I've ever played or seen the actual game. I remember seeing this to rent in the video stores. So, But I never tried it. But I do remember the TV show. Have you ever played this one? I have not. Again, another game that I really don't see in the wild or anything. So I'm not saying that it's a rare game or anything. But when Just it's something that <laughs> yeah, when it's something that you don't see a million copies of, like Super Mario Brothers, it's like I think I'll go with that one. And then one that I got for you was yes, this one I kind of picked out for myself because I thought it looked range. a lot of fun because it's just a bunch of different games to use with the zapper, and I felt like there wasn't enough games for the zapper. So plus the zapper does have you know just a small handful of games, which makes collecting for that subset very easy to do. Yes. Now another game that I could not pass up was Clay Fighter on the Super Nintendo, and this was uh, the weird kind of claymation fighters. You had like a snowman and all kinds <laughs> of others. I, th I think there's an Elvis impersonator in this nice. one. I might be thinking of the other game on 64 or the sequel. But the last thing that we got from there, he actually threw in for free. Which he was, was like, pretty awesome. hey, if you guys are buying these, uh, why don't you just take this one? And that was Hubert three i was so excited because he was bringing it out and i was like and tom he goes oh my gosh cubert look and i was like oh that's my favorite arcade game and i think that's kind of what prompted him to choose that one as the free one to give us since he decided to give us a free game so i'm super excited about that well that was very cool of him and as you can see if you're watching in the background it has gone to a very very good home. very good so home. thank you very much <laughs> and please come to more conventions with more games yes definitely well, she picked up some loose toys, but you also found some nice in-box stuff. I did find some nice in-box stuff. One of them was another one of my Marvel Legend oh, figures. Oh, man. And I absolutely love Mystique. She look, just looks really, really cool. And I like this one because she came with several different heads that she can morph into. And like I said, lots of Hot Wheels everywhere. So I was I actually was really looking for this one. It was the um, Mars... Uh, rover curiosity rover and i've been looking for a couple of different conventions and ha either haven't found him or they wanted too much for him we pop into one booth and there was like a rack of them with just a bunch of them and i looked at it and i go i don't want to dig through that and then literally right at eye level was the mars rover and he was right on the front and i was like oh my gosh and then i asked the guy okay how much one dollar and i was like it is mine so i finally got my mars rover and i'm so excited he actually found this for me first when I told him I was looking for the Mars rover and it's the um, Mars landing set where you had the lander, the Mars pathfinder, and then the sojourner Mars rover. And I was like, well, yeah, it's the Mars rover, but it's not Curiosity, which is who I wanted. Because I feel bad for Curiosity because he has to sing happy birthday to himself. Now, I think that this one you like how it looks in the yeah, box. Yeah, so I haven't decided if I want to open this one or just take off, like leave it attached to the bottom because it does identify them on the bottom. Okay. So this one I haven't decided if I want to open it or not yet just because I like the way it displays. I definitely am going to open everybody else though. Go for it. All right. All right, there's the little rover guy. Ooh, it rolls around. I know, really he nice. does roll really well. Is that a NASA logo right on the yep, front? Yep, got a NASA nice. logo right there on the front. Oh, man, there's nothing quite like getting that brand new Hot Wheels or Matchbox car. I know, opening the wheels aren't even screwed up. And, yeah, feeling like that smooth roll. Right. All of my wheels were always messed up because I would drive it over concrete or asphalt or gravel or grass, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but that's the fun part. Yeah. Check it out, though. The little His little camera spins around. Nice. So that's really cool. Next, we've got our lovely little Mystique here. And Whoa, she's a uh, she's got, got quite a booty. a booty on her. <laughs> Look at that booty. I mean, that thing's like sticking. I out. know she's all sticking way out there, but she her face looks really good. Her hair is I like everything about her hair. She's got some good articulation to her, and then she comes with the uh, rogue face where she's like half turning into rogue. Which that was one of the things that sold you. Yes, it was actually. I can't tell if that's actually Lalandra's face or just a Shi'ar's face. 
all the shears kind of look the same. Oh! Because <laughs> look at all the, the makeup they would put on their faces or whatever. But then, you know, we, she comes with a little gun. A gold gun gold that she gun. obviously stole from Bond. And then she's got a big old like, rocket launcher thing, and the drum does come out, which is kind of a neat touch to it. This is one heck of a... Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, that's creepy. That looks like a weird thing that Sid from Toy Story put together. Ha! <laughs> Not the first time I've been compared to Sid. <laughs> Listen to your mother's head. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, sugar, I ain't gonna listen to you. I don't know, I can't do Southern very well, I guess. Well, nerdlings, there is one last thing. This one is a sucker for mystery bags, so of course we had yep. to get a mystery bag. These mystery bags were $5, yep. and did they say the value was $25? Yes, at least $25 worth of stuff in it. Can you see me? First thing that's in here, ooh, we get a Harley Quinn comic. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice, Vote Harley, DC Rebirth, Harley Quinn, number 31. So and that's... what's she hanging out with on the couch there? Is that, that a beaver? Like a beaver and a dog. Always a good start to get a comic for the collection. Next thing we've got in here is a high five paddle. Wow, look at that, that is bag. Old. That's an old school paddle ball game. My gosh, I used to love these as a kid. Oh gosh, I don't. Oh, it's already in a knot. Hang on. I think trying to use it would be a bad idea. I don't know if I would trust that string. Oh, it'll be fine. All right. I don't think I can get the. Oh, my eye! <laughs> we'll do a stand-up playing with it. My ball broke. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. That's fun. I think we have a poster. I think so, too. Solar Man of the Atom. Or is he, like, really cool and his name is Solar? Interesting. I have no idea who that is. Do you know who that is? Nope. Nope? Okay. We have Vote Lex 2000. I'm not gonna vote for him. <laughs> That's a tiny little button. That's cute. Alrighty, so we've got a lamp, a frozen lamp. <laughs> it's kind of neat. It's like a, a, a glitter lamp. So it's uh, interesting. All right. Well, how did they do on the mystery bag? Not too bad, actually. Obviously, the big ticket item was the lamp in this one. So, uh, and it actually it does have a light bulb in it. So that's nice. Well, that's a plus. It's always a plus. You have um, to supply your own lamp. I'm on the fence with the bag. The The comic was a good start, yeah. but they kind of lost me at the paddle ball, the button, and the poster. And, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry I'm not the biggest Frozen fan. I, I, it's it's a very cute lamp, but if, if I would have bought this just for me, I probably would have been like, What? Frozen? I will say I like the lamp idea, so that's cool. Like I said, it's probably the big ticket item, but I'm the same way. It's like, I'm, you know, I'm not that big of a Frozen. I mean, it was a fun movie, but I'm not that big into Frozen, so the subject matter isn't that great for me. So, you know, but that's well, the thing with mystery bags. You, you know, hit or miss. I guess if you don't like the lamp, it'll be that much easier to let it go. Let it go. Don't sing anymore. We're going to get caught. YouTube, don't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> great. Nerdlings, that was RubleCon 2019 and our pickups from the convention. Yes. Once again, if you find out that you have a local convention like this, get out there, support them, help mm -hmm. those cons grow because that just brings in more vendors, which brings in more awesome stuff. Obviously it's working because we finally got some video games here. Yes. So that was great. Uh, some toys, some mystery bags. And on that note, I would love to hear your comments about any of the stuff. Yeah. Leave a like on the video if you happen to like it. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to see those closer upper pictures, to see where we go out and about in the real world, uh, like conventions. And don't forget to go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there, as you can see. And nerdlings, if we like it. We nerd it. Like, good little nerdlings. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, nerdlings. You done, done? I'm opening this. Hey, Tom, sit back down here, man. I can't help it.
I can't have something in the box. Open. I can't have anything in the box. Ta-da! Look, I, I did something too while she was getting those open. <laughs> they did not want you to get into that toy. Okay, the Mars Sojourner rover thing. It's really neat because the lander on the pad has the little tiny Sojourner Mars rover on it because that's how it got down there and everything. So that's kind of neat. And it does move. It does close up and open up. So that's kind of neat. I'm actually really glad I decided to open it. So here's what it starts out as. So you got this little landy pod thingy and it's like down onto the planet, right? Right. And then this thing pops off. Poof. And then out pops this thing. Check it out. It opens up and it's opens up and it's got the little So it's rover. even smaller than that. Yeah. And so then here we go. Bigger opens up and it's the big version of that. And it's got the rover in it. And then here's the rover. Nice. That is very cool. That is so cool. But I love the detail there because you've got this one in a small version and it still has the rover. And then this one has the rover. And then there's the rover. Nice. Very That's nice. That's really cool. I'm really glad I decided to go ahead and open that. And springy, springy, springy. All right, well, now you have to tell everyone what's going on here. I have no idea what's going on here. Well, it looks like Doc Ock and Venom are attacking people and they're trying to defend, like, you know, themselves. <laughs> you've got Nightcrawler being grabbed by Venom and then you've got the gargoyle chick trying to make him stop. And is I can't tell if Doc Ock is helping or hindering. <laughs> And then we've got Rogue with, or Mystique with Rogue's head. I don't know. There's a lot going on here. Oh, you forgot a head. Uh, no, that's on the rover. Oh, right, right. That's the rover. Okay, once again, like, comment, subscribe. Leave those comments down below. Hit that notification bell. Be sure to subscribe and everything. Yeah, because I already said subscribe and hit the notification bell. Make sure to like and comment. And what else do they do? Check us out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Public And Nerdlings, if we like it, we nerd it. Okay, bye. What did you find? I found a bendy nightcrawler. <laughs> Whoa, he's dancing too. <laughs> Everything I know is a lie. I I'm confused. Are you and Joker friends or not? <laughs> yep. You could keep track of him by driving him around, wouldn't you? <laughs> good, oh, point, good. good point. Good point. <laughs> <laughs>